trick or treat. The treat is sugar, sugar, and more sugar. The trick is the negative effects this sugar has on your body, especially your kid's body. Too much sugar, and you know and I know what happens, too much sugar can turn your kid into a monster. In this video, I'm going to share some healthy, fun recipes that you can make with your children at home instead of giving them all that sugar. These are great recipes. They're fun to make. And healthy snacks are much more fun to eat by the way they look and the fact that you and your children had made these yourself. They're really delicious and you might find that your children might want to start making these more often than just waiting for Halloween. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Goldstein. I'm a chiropractor in Limbrook, New York, and I've been doing chiropractic for just a little over 30 years. My channel is about healthy tips and strategies that you can use to make your life better and healthier. So let's go to the video and see what I'm cooking up. Hello, everybody. Well, I said I was going to do a uh, video on having a healthy Halloween, so this is it. Where am I Halloween tie? So before we talk about Halloween, let's talk about the number one worst ingredient of Halloween, and that's sugar. Americans spend close to $3 billion a year on Halloween candy. The average child eats 50 pounds of sugar a year. Just to explain what that is, this is a 10 pound bag of sugar. They eat five of these. So what's the problem with sugar? Well, it can lead to obesity, diabetes, uh, it suppresses the immune system. As a matter of fact, there was a study that the average four to eight year old child eats approximately 15 teaspoons of sugar every day, and that equals the 50 pounds a year. When you eat sugar, it actually suppresses your immune system prevents this, the white blood cells that engulf bacteria and other harmful substances. It's suppressed for after 30 minutes of eating sugar, and that suppression lasts for five hours. So here we are, unfortunately, Halloween's November, cold and flu season, uh, COVID, whatever else is out there, um, and we're eating in all this sugar, and our immune system is actually becoming depressed. What do we do as parents? Well, <laughs> any candy left over, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat that candy. So I took some time to look up some recipes, which I will post on my website, so you can download the recipes. They're real simple, they're fun to make. Uh, my girlfriend Susan and I spent the afternoon making these things. I gotta tell you, they were a lot of fun. Um, so check out my website at uh, goldspinechiropractic.com. You can check that out from my uh, YouTube channel. Anyway, let me show you what we made. So this is the tray of all our goodies. We had uh, Clementine jack-o'-lanterns. Real simple, simple to make. The kids are going to love this because, you know, everything is about how food looks. Um, that's what kind of uh, tends to stimulate us is, you know, what does it look like? And if it looks appetizing and pleasing, we want to eat it. So if you put some of this stuff out, they're going to be interested in eating it. Here's a Frankenstein. I hope none of you are getting scared about this. <laughs> this is a Frankenstein cup, and we filled it with um, green grapes. Very delicious. You can fill it with almost anything. Um, carrots, kiwi, peppers, uh, zucchini sticks, but it's a great way to introduce different healthy foods and snacks to kids. We made Halloween broomsticks, and that's just polio cheese, bit of a chive with a pretzel stick stuck in. Again, I hope this stuff isn't scary for you, but we have, whoop, we have spider eggs. The spiders are made from um, black olives. 
the Bonnie Bell cheeses. Cut it out into a nice design, put on a couple of googly eyes. Banana ghosts, very simple, and they're gonna love this. Clementine pumpkins. <laughs> This is one of my favorites. That's a scary apple. And we stuck um, nuts. We used um, peanut butter and jelly to stick the nuts on. The eyes are actually edible eyes. So this whole thing, and of course the strawberry is the tongue, whole thing, the kids can eat this. And I gotta tell you, this really, they're gonna love to eat this stuff. And last but not least, we have a scary witch avocado. <laughs> so the middle is guacamole. You got some chips on there. You got some carrots for hair. Uh, again, the eyes are edible. So all these things are really not only nutritious and fun to eat, but they look fun to eat. So instead of giving them candy, um, Look up some of these recipes. The recipes will be on my website. There are a bunch of other recipes I posted that I didn't make because I'd be here all day showing you all this stuff. But Halloween's a fun time to, uh, is a time to have fun. And you can make this with your kids. You know, if they sit down and they help you to make this stuff, they're gonna wanna eat it uh, because it's so much fun to make. And it's a great way of families to get together have some fun in the kitchen, and then enjoy some healthy snacks. So it's always great seeing you guys. Thanks for checking in. Um, I look, to, look forward to doing some more of these. And stay healthy, stay well. Have a wonderful Halloween. Take care, everybody.